Hey Pisces, welcome to your weekly reading for June 14th to the 20th. My name is Johanna, welcome to Tenacious Soul. We are going to go through some general messages for you guys for the week, so take what resonates, leave the rest. You can always check out your sun, your moon, and your rising sign. Uh, I did post the new moon reading, so depending on kind of when you're watching this, the new moon is on um, June 10th. So depending on, like I said, the date that you're watching this, um, if you haven't watched that, you can check that out. It was for all signs. So I went all the way from Aries to Pisces. Um, so I'll kind of link that in this video and then you guys can watch it. So we have the golden children, inner child, tenderness, inner innocence, and rare gifts. And then at the bottom of the deck, we have, you've got the love, Hadarian energy, codependency, and boundaries. <clears throat> so some of you, um, there could be a codependent situation that you're maybe in or you're maybe creating boundaries around a codependent situation or a person's codependent. Some of you, this is literally your children. <laughs> um, others of you, uh, like you could be even just taking a break or going on a holiday away from kids possibly or trying to do that. Others of you though, it's like you're kind of breaking free a little bit. There's an element of like honoring your inner child. Um, a lot of times when we're codependent, it stems from inner child wounding of some sort. So I feel like um, a lot of you are starting to actually um, create those boundaries for yourself and um, honor that like inner child is kind of what I'm getting. So you're allowing yourself to have more fun, to have more play. Um, and some of you are really stepping into your powers and your gifts and your energies. I find like my Pisces readings are always like so intense I don't know why like not intense but uh spiritual which I, I mean it makes sense you guys are 12th house but it's just funny how like I always I always get that with you guys <laughs> okay so let's see what else is going on for you guys this week so we have the sun we have the moon so Leo energy as well as you guys and Cancer possibly. I always get like Cancer and Pisces together. Um, and we also have the Knight of Wands, interesting. It's interesting too, because the sun and the moon are like the masculine and the feminine energies. So there could be, either you guys are coming into more of harmony, harmony and balance, or you have been kind of moving forward with it, or there could be somebody like a counterpart on their way towards you. We have Judgment. We have the Three of Cups. And we have the Ten of Swords, King of Wands in the near future. We have the Three of Swords and we have Temperance. Six of Cups at the bottom of the deck. Okay, so I'm getting strong reconciliation energy here. We literally have Six of Cups, Judgment, Three of Cups and Temperance, which all can talk about someone coming back around. Uh, definitely could be a fire sign because we have the sun, the knight of wands, and the king of wands. And temperance, which is Sagittarius energy as well. So Sag and Leo are strong here. Uh, we also have like uh, Scorpio energy. And then like Cancer, Pisces. So water and fire is strong here. Um, I definitely feel like there could have been somebody even who possibly sent you a bit of a message. You could have been dealing with somebody in the past who was, maybe was a little bit in and out, a little inconsistent, possibly like, I mean, a lot of people, this Knight of Wands is like a player energy. There could have been a little bit of a spontaneous energy to this person where they're a little bit like carefree. Some of you, this is you, because uh, Pisces can kind of be that way. But I feel like... Um, yeah, somebody definitely came into your life in the past. We're going to clarify this a little bit. I feel like they're a counterpart. Like there's somebody who's like a little bit of like that soulmate energy. Uh, judgment, Three of Cups, Ten of Swords. This is definitely, I feel, somebody who like something ended with this person. I feel like you definitely could have got hurt by this person with the Ten of Swords and the Three of Swords. Um, they are wanting to come back around for a second chance. I do feel like they want to make things right, especially with that Temperance energy in the near future and the Three of Swords. Like they're almost wanting to fix uh this situation so i don't know if they're still currently in your life if they entered in the recent past you might still be talking to this person possibly for some of you uh, but i feel like this person wants to reconcile they want to make things right because i feel like they did hurt you 
and in the near future here they're wanting to kind of like reconcile things they may even try like maybe you do give this person a chance and they they are actually going to try and put in the energy and effort to kind of like fix this situation here there is, I feel like possibly too, like there definitely could have been codependency, situ like a situation here where there was like boundaries that weren't existent or didn't exist in the relationship in the past. And I feel like in order to protect your innocence and your energy um, and your inner child who has been wounded in this situation, right? Three of swords, 10 of swords. Our heart has been broken. Our Like that inner child aspect, usually it brings up old wounds in that sense i feel like there needs to be boundaries to put that you put in place for yourself in order to protect your energy here from this situation so let's see let's clarify this knight of wands here in the recent past for pisces what's this knight of wands in the recent past clarify this knight of wands we have the Five of Cups and the King of Swords. So somebody came to a realization that they kind of regret how they treated you in the past. Um, I do feel like they want to clear things up. Some of them were trying to almost like figure out how to come forward. There definitely for some of you could have been some sort of an, a third party element, but I almost feel like they've cut that off from the past. Whatever this past energy was that kind of like what they regret, I feel like they've possibly cut that off you could have felt like this person was even hiding things from you or they weren't being totally upfront. third party doesn't always mean a person it could be anything it could be them just focused on their career um, or just other things like not putting a lot of energy and effort into things um, let's see what this judgment is here in the current energy what's judgment here for for pisces clarify judgment here Judgment. What is judgment here for? In the current energy for Pisces, please, spirit. Can you clarify judgment, please? We have two of swords. Wheel of Fortune. There's been a change of thought. I feel like somebody maybe wasn't very clear on what they wanted to do or how things wanted to go. We have the Hermit and the High Priestess. Yeah, somebody was saying silent for a long time. Someone could have even, even been blocked in this situation, but somebody was kind of keeping to themselves for a long time. And I feel like, again, now it's like they're realizing they want to make things right. Again, somebody could have, you could have felt like somebody was hiding something or somebody's like shining a light on the truth of a situation. What's this Three of Cups? Clarify Three of Cups, please, for Pisces. Seven of Cups. And the Nine of Wands. Somebody definitely could have kept their options open or they just weren't open to love. Like they emotionally, they could have been kind of closed off. We have the world here. I think they might've been like somebody who like had a really hard time expressing love. Yeah, six of pentacles and the strength. This person held back a lot. They didn't really give a lot to this situation. And I feel like, I feel like it made you kind of move on. And I feel like it could have made you feel like this person had other people or they were keeping things from you. But really, I think it was just that this person is not emotionally available the way that uh, you needed them to be. So let's see that this King of Wands is in the near future here for you, Pisces. What's this King of Wands? Clarify this King of Wands here. The Hierophant. Yeah, this person now is like starting to be more open towards commitment. I feel like they've learned a lot about this situation. They've really been, they've been watching you for sure. Um, I feel like they, they just have a lot of regrets. I think it's just they weren't really ready. Yeah, Knight of Swords. We have clarifying the Three of Swords and the Two of Cups. I do feel like this person wants to communicate and make things right with you here. Yeah, they want to enter like a new phase, a new cycle with you. They want to move forward past this. Three of Wands. This person's definitely been watching you though. Like they've 
I don't know if they have access to like social media, that sort of thing. They are wanting to communicate and move forward. Tell me more about temperance here. Yeah, page of wands. They will be coming forward, especially if they haven't or if they've kind of went silent. Some of you, this person came into your life in the recent past or like started talking to you in the recent past and then they kind of went quiet again. You thought it was over. I don't think it's over. I think this person's coming back in wanting to talk. It's happening slowly though. I feel like there's like an, I don't know, this person's like, they're trying to figure out how they feel. Can you tell me more about this person for Pisces, please? Could be a fire sign, Taurus. Wheel of Fortune. Yeah, it's a matter of time before this person comes in and communicates with you here. Some of you are waiting for this person. It's like some of you also want this reconciliation or you're waiting for this person to communicate or even just explain themselves for some of you as well is what I'm getting. What's the advice for Pisces here? Wow, that's a lot of cards. Let's get less cards. What advice do we have? We have the Six of Wands. What advice do we have for Pisces here? Six of Wands, Ten of Pentacles, Four of Cups. Bottom of the deck, we have the Page of Pentacles. So again, communication. I do feel like what you're asking for will be coming in here. Six of Wands, Ten of Pentacles, uh, Four of Cups. If, especially if you're starting to doubt relationships, I feel like there is um, an opportunity here where there will be a commitment of some sort of something that lasts long term. It'll be successful. You just m I might be doubting of whether it's going to come in because I feel like you're almost like disappointed with your love life right now. Anything else about advice or anything you want to say to Pisces here before we close this out? Four of Wands. Yeah, there's definitely going to be a commitment and communication about that as well. And there could be definitely communication from this person that's going to come in and there's going to be clarity that comes in on this situation. So even if it doesn't, even if the situation does end, I feel like there's going to be clarity, maybe even some sort of closure that's going to make you feel a lot better about this situation. Uh, but for some of you, it's like you might be doubting whether this is going to come in or you don't see this coming in, but I feel like it will be. Whether it's this person or not, you guys will be in a relationship. So if you're doubting that, um, don't. <laughs> Um, so that is what I have for you, Pisces, for the week. Hopefully that's helpful for you guys. If not, you can uh, check out your other signs. Uh, but I hope you have a wonderful week. Thank you guys so much for your love and support. It was greatly appreciated. And I will see you all in the next video. Okay, bye.